We often get asked about how realistic a mannequin can be, and I suppose I thought I'd start the answer by looking quickly at Morpheus and his definition of realism. This... This isn't real. What is real? How do you define real? If you're talking about what you can feel, what you can smell, what you can taste and see, then real is simply electrical signals interpreted by your brain. So in the world of simulation, people will often talk about fidelity as being realism or as close to real as you can get. And they'll talk about high fidelity or low fidelity or medium fidelity. But really what we're talking about is just how close we can get to the real world. Now for us to copy a body, we use 3D scanning as one of our major techniques, which gets us down to about 0.1 mils of accuracy. Another technique used at live cast body simulation is that of live casting. Um, and live casting was developed by John Schoonrad here at live cast body simulation when he originally did some work on movies such as Star Wars. Um, and it's it uses alginates, uh, uses plaster of Paris to take an exact copy. And here you can see the Pete mannequin uh, being an exact copy of Pete, who's an 82-year-old chap who came to us and said, look, you know, I'm willing to lend you my body. Let's take a copy of it. And we were able then to take a mannequin and make a mannequin version of Pete. As we started to copy people, so it became more important that we realised that there were polymers out there that would not only give us the usual look that we'd been getting from movies, but also the feel and the movement associated with real human beings. And that became a big part of the life cast journey.